Robert, das verdammte Ziel! Yo, what's going on guys? It's devastating. Thanks for tuning in today and welcome to a new video. And today we are going to have a look at the Matzen MG, which is a light machine gun from Denmark for the support class. And I think it's the first time that this weapon is featured on my channel, even though I think I have like over 2000 kills with it. Which means that this weapon cannot be that bad and it has some features and specialities which I'm gonna show you later on. And of course, if you like my videos, please drop a like, subscribe, highly appreciate it guys. The map for today is Marita and this is not a coincidence, as this map provides the perfect ranges for this gun. You definitely don't wanna take this weapon into the metro, I can tell you that, cause close quarters combat is its weakness. And if you decide to take this weapon with you, be prepared for some accusations. I did play a lot of Marita back in the days cause it was the map before Devastation or Operation Underground. And unpopular opinion, I do like this map actually. And I know that a lot of guys don't like it at all. It's an infantry only map so no tanks and planes. And therefore you can concentrate on the players on the ground. Ammunition for you! So now I'm going to show you my specializations for the Madsen MG. Left, 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 right. So first I'm going for the quick reload. The other option would be quick aim. So that's personal preference. Then I'm going for the left branch. So decreased vertical recoil and the extended magazine. And with that you get that 40 round magazine. And that's a perfect amount of bullets. And last but not least you can go for the faster bullet velocity on the left or the right, the decreased horizontal recoil. And if you're taking the right one you have an absolute laser beam. And furthermore I would highly recommend using the 3x scope. Cause as I already mentioned with this gun you don't wanna be in a close quarter situation. It's more for the mid and long ranges. Well I'm going to tell you it has no bullet damage drop off. At least this was the case before the TTK update. And now in extreme ranges you need one extra bullet to kill the enemy. But the damage output is 20. And that is why you always need 5 shots to kill the enemy. And therefore it's definitely not strong in the close ranges. The time to kill is really slow. Even though it's hipfire is not that bad. As I said I would not recommend going into the fights. So if you wanna compete with the snipers and you wanna be a support guy then take this weapon. Let's quickly talk about the elephant in the room. A relatively huge drawback is the top mounted magazine. And the 40 round magazine is even bigger than the normal one. So it can happen that you don't see a lot of enemies cause the vision is blocked by the magazine. Be aware of this problem. And guys please let me know what cheats is this Smook Steve guy using as he seems to do pretty good with it.
What also comes in handy is the 3D spotting. Time to move up. These are the kind of ranges you are looking for. You know, if I had an SMG I would more or less blindly rush in as always, but with this gun you need to look out for different angles. I tell you, this Samuk guy is always hacking. So as always guys, thanks for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, I see you guys next time.